Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about the main thing that gets everyone hung up on when it's time to look for a home, purchase a home, or get a pre-approval. And the big elephant in the room sometimes is people's credit. <laughs> Talking to people about their credit is like one of the major things that kind of discourages people. And so I just wanted to come and give you some tips on ways that you can um, quickly improve your credit so that you can get that pre-approval for uh, your to get your dream home. I am Marisa Cunningham. I'm your Tampa Bay Realtor and I wanted to give you the first uh, tip and that is the most obvious is to make your payments on time. Um, that is one of the factors that weigh heavy on um, determining what your credit score is. So it's very important that you make your payments on time. Um, some people have like a strategy where they say, oh, make your payments on time, but make it before this, the close of the statement date, things of that nature. There's, I'm pretty sure, a plethora of strategies, but you definitely want to be sure to make it on time every single month, even if it has to be a minimum payment with credit cards. The second tip is to reduce your debt. Um, when you are going to a lender and you're asking you know, for them to pull your credit and to give you that pre-approval, they are going to look at your debt to income ratio, which is also known as DTI. Now your debt to income ratio is going to take the total amount of your monthly expenses, so all of your bills, and they're going to divide it by your pre-tax income. So that's going to give you a percentage. That is your debt to income ratio. Now a lot, it really depends on the lender and the type of loan that you get, but a lot of times they would like to keep it around, you know, 30, 33 Sometimes it can even go up to 40 or 45. Like I said, it just depends on the type of loan and it also depends on the, the lender. But even like carrying a credit card balance, they always say don't max out your card. Keep it at or below 33%. You want to kind of have that same type of thought for, you know, having your debt to income ratio. A third tip is don't open new accounts in a short period of time. So you don't want to keep, you know, having all of these inquiries on your credit report, opening all of these new accounts, because then it's going to send a red flag to people that um, determine your credit, which would be the lenders. Another tip would be to diversify the credit that you have. So some of the credit types are installment, service, charge cards, and revolving credit. The same way that they tell us to diversify your investment portfolio, you want to do the same thing with your credit. Number five, once you have reduced your debt and paid it off, you do not want to close that account because you want to establish a credit history. So it kind of ties into um, number six, once you pay it off, just use it every so often. If you have to go get, a, you know, a cup of coffee or you want to fill up your um, gas tank, you could do that every so often just to keep the card or your credit line open. Um, number seven is to get your derogatory items taken off of your credit report. Um, this is important because you want to make sure that your credit report is accurate and if it's not accurate you want to work to getting it taken off if it's old um, past the I think it's seven years sometimes it could be ten years depending on what it is if it's like a foreclosure or a short sale um, that is on your credit report if it's past the time you want to get it taken off and I also suggest that you work on getting credit restoration um, some people, they don't think that it helps, but it does. Um, I know, for example, if I'm working with clients and their credit is an issue, my lender partner will tell them exactly what they need to work on. 
what they need to pay off, what is having the biggest impact on keeping their credit score low. So I hope these tips was helpful. Join me tomorrow for um, day four where we'll talk about working with the realtor. And also be sure to um, check out the description. I am going to have um, a link that um, takes you to my buyer's guide. I also have a neighborhood guide if you're looking to relocate into the Tampa Bay area. I also have a seller's guide. So if you need help selling your home, I can help you with that. And also join me in my Facebook group where I have a lot of different um, nuggets that I drop, challenges. It's a really fun group over there. So all of the links will be down. And I hope to see you tomorrow, day four. Have a good one.